Okay, so this is going to be my official Zilly Zhang versus Joseph Parker prediction. This is going to be the co-main to Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou, which is a good thing because as far as I'm concerned, this is the real main event of that card. Anthony Joshua cherry-picking a fucking UFC fighter that's 0-1 in boxing uh, does absolutely nothing. It's a blatant cash grab. And Zilly Zhang, should he get past Joseph Parker, should be next in line for the Uzik Fury winner. And yes, that's including over Anthony Joshua. But let's start by going through the tale of the tape here. Zilly Zhang is 26. His record reads 26 wins, one defeat and one draw. 21 wins coming by way of knockout. He is 40 years old. No spring chicken. He stands at six foot foot six. Big man. I call him the Chinese Luca Brasi for a reason. Six foot six, 80, inch, 80 inches of reach. He's a southpaw, and he has a long, long amateur pedigree. And it's and Zilly Zhang seems to be getting better with age. Joseph Parker's rec. Joseph Parker now, he's 34. He has 34 wins, three defeats, 23 wins coming by way of knockout, and he's 32 years old. He does have the youth, but as far as I'm concerned, Joseph Parker is an, is an old 32-year-old. Um, he's been in a lot of wars, and he started pretty young. So he's an old 32-year-old. He is a 64. He stands at 6'4", and he has a 76-inch reach, and he fights out of the orthodox standpoint. Uh, out of the orthodox stance, excuse me. Now, um, I'm going to start by talking about Joseph Parker real quick. Joseph Parker, first of all, I have to commend both guys on their willingness to fight anybody. Both Joseph Parker and Zilly Zhang deserve a, a world of praise for this fight. And once again, both of those guys are showing their willingness to fight anyone anywhere at any time both of them both of them deserve a lot of respect for making this fight happen period okay joseph parker has a lot of experience at the elite level he never fought fury or, or uh or Uzek, but he fought joshua and arguably beat him in some people's mind he beat him and that was a lot closer fight than people remember has a win over deontay wilder has a win over andy ruiz and has a tough loss that in a close fight to Dillian White and got brutally knocked out by Joe Joyce. But my point being is that Joseph Parker, and he has two fights with Derek DeSora under his belt as well. My point being with that is that Joseph Parker has a lot of experience at the highest level of the heavyweight division, period. Zilly Zhang, as I stated before, long amateur pedigree, big man, Probably one of the hardest hitters, if not the hardest hitter, in the heavyweight division right now. Southpaw, 80-inch reach, 6'6", six six, coming in 250 or something like that. 260, big man, 270. You understand? Um, so big, big praise to both of these fellas for making this fight happen. As I said before, as far as I'm concerned, this is the real main event. Not Anthony Joshua's cash grab payday bullshit versus Francis Ngannou. All right? Um, stylistically, though, as I break this fight down, the more I'm thinking about it. As I said before, I think Joseph Parker is an old 32-year-old. He's been in a lot of wars. He had two wars with Jer Derek Chisora, a war with Dillian White, a war with Andy Ruiz. Um, you know, you name it. He, he, he's... Um, and had a cl and got brutally and viciously knocked out by Joe Joyce. Now I don't want to doubt Joseph Parker at all. I did pick Wilder to beat him. I didn't think Parker had much left in the tank, but he proved to have a lot more left than that bum Deontay Wilder had. And, and I want people to take this into consideration also. Yes, Joseph Parker just got a big win over Deontay Wilder, but all things considered, Deontay Wilder is a bum. Okay. Um, Zilly Zhang, he's on a hot streak right now in his own right. He had a great year last year, two wins over Joe Joyce. I saw a lot of people with Joe Joyce in the top five at heavyweight prior to Zilly Zhang smashing his face twice. Um, 
He was a plus 500 underdog going in, going in against Zhang in the first fight. He broke him up and stopped him in the sixth round when the when the when the ref waved it off after and the doc waved it off after his eye eye closed. Everybody thought the rematch was a 50-50 fight, and Zhang went in there and slept him in three rounds again. You understand? And also Zilly Zhang should have a win over Philip Hergovic. He clearly beat Philip Hergovic and got robbed. So both of these guys have had a had a had a late career resurgence. They're both trending upward despite their age, you know. And again, I cannot commend both of them enough for making this fight happen. They both deserve a ton of praise for fighting whoever, whenever, wherever, like real fighters do. Unlike the Shakors, Gervantes, Devin Haney's, and Ryan Garcia's of the world, but. Zhang's a big boy. Zhang is not Deontay Wilder. Zhang is a southpaw. He hits harder than Wilder as far as I'm concerned. And he's knocked out better quality opposition than Deontay Wilder ever did. Um, as I say, he's been active for a 40-year-old. He fought twice last year. And already he's jumping in with a top five or six contender in Joseph Parker early in this year. I think this is going to be a great fight. I think both guys are going to have moments in this fight. I wouldn't be surprised if both men get dropped in this fight. Um, Joseph Parker has very good boxing skills. And so does Zilly Zhang, to be fair. Good jab. Good, powerful jab. Um, hard power. Southpaw. He's going to be a much bigger man in the ring than Joseph Parker that, that evening. And because of that, I do favor Zilly Zhang to win this fight. And nothing against Joseph Parker. I have a lot of respect for that guy, especially after what he did to Deontay Wilder. But unfortunately, I got to go with Zilly Zhang by knockout in this fight. He's going to be a much, much bigger man. He's got four inches of reach on Joseph Parker. He's going to stick him with the jab all night. He's probably going to break something up. I mean, you guys got to remember, Joe Joyce pretty much dominated Joseph Parker and knocked him the fuck out. Now, Styles make fights. I understand that. Zhang could get old. He is in his 40s, right? Joseph Parker could outbox him. It's a very well possibility. But those are the only two realistic possibilities I see. Is either Joseph Parker outboxes him or Zhang stops him out or knocks him out. Um, But yeah, for so I'm more leaning towards Zilly Zhang in this fight. I think... Both guys are going to have their moments, but Zhang is just too big, too powerful. And like I say, Joseph Parker might be the younger man in this fight, but he's been in a lot of wars with the guys I've mentioned before. Ruiz, Chisora twice, Dillian White, Joshua, uh, Joe Joyce, he was brutally knocked out by. Plus, Zilly Zhang is going to be the much bigger man in there. He's going to have four inches of reach on uh, uh, Parker. He's a southpaw. Uh, you know, and and Zhang seems to be on a tear right now. Not taking anything away from Joseph Parker's win over Wilder, but nevertheless, man. So for my official prediction, man, I got to go with Joe, uh, Zilly Zhang by knockout. Excuse me. I think it's going to be a competitive fight, but I think one, Joseph Parker's going to start to back off once he... Once Zhang starts sticking him with the jab and putting the power in his face and really putting some hurt on him, I think Parker's going to go into retreat mode. And eventually, I do see Zilly Zhang getting him out of there. And But like I said, I don't have any dog in the race in this fight. Hats off to both guys. I like both of them. I'm a fan of both of them. Um, I'm just looking for a good fight here. But for my official prediction, I'm going with Zilly Zhang. Knockout. I'm going to knock out in the eighth round, I'm going to say. So that's my two cents anyways, guys. Great fight. Looking forward to it. Like I said before, this is the real main event of the card, not that Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou bullshit. You heard me? So great fight. Glad it got made. Let's go. Heavyweight boxing's back, fellas. Let's fucking rock and roll. Um, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And God bless you all. And thank you so much for watching the video. God bless, guys. Take care.